What's up everybody, it's Big John. I'm gonna to talk to you today a little bit about trading. And what brought this up is, I just tried to do a trade today. Somebody watched the video and they're local here. Um, he told me what he wanted. He wanted the Marvel Premiere 15 and he wanted the Astonishing Tales 25 and, and a couple of the uh, Tomb of Dracula books that just were like fillers. He needed them for his PC. So uh, I met the guy and um, he brought along a small box of stuff. And, you know, he had the Teen Titans number two, which is what I was really wanting that he told me he would bring. And so I get there. The problem arose when you have two like-minded individuals. Now, me, I just wanted to trade the book just to be done with it. And I wanted the... Teen Titans number two, first Deathstroke to Terminator. And <clears throat> how I get my prices in a trade is I basically look up the last 10 sold in my particular grade. And I asked the other individual if he agreed with my grade. And the answer to that question, of course, was an oh yes. Um, because I'm I'm a very good grader, if I do say so myself. So we agreed on the price. The last 10, the average on that grade of Iron Fist was about $360 is about what it was worth. Okay, um, I know graded it sells for a little bit more than double that at about $800. So, but we agreed $350 trade for that book. I lowered it 10 bucks just to be nice. Then the Astonishing Tales, the first death lock, we put on average at about two and a quarter. So that's about, you know, five seventy-five, and then the Tomb of Dracula books, they were about twenty-five dollars a piece, is what they ended up being about, and there was about eight of those. <clears throat> anyway, so we looked up the same thing. I did. I don't know how he came up with this price. We looked up the same thing on the Teen Titans number two because that's really the only book he had that I was really interested in, um, because I really go for uh, not. To resell the book, I go as in to put in my PC. So there is one difference between me and someone else who's trying to trade. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so we came up with, I came up with one price, he came up with another. His price was a speculatory price. I did not agree with that. He spec that it was a 9-0, which I did not agree with that grade. It was an 8-0. And he put it at a value of about $500, which is wrong, way wrong. Okay, so I can get that book a lot cheaper than that myself for right around half that or a little less. So um, we I couldn't agree with him on the price of that book. He would not move off of like 500 bucks off that book. And so basically, he wanted the Marvel Premiere 15 and the Astonishing Tales and all the Tomb of Draculas for the Teen Titans number two. And I didn't haggle with the guy. That's what I do. If I can't agree with the price, I don't argue back and forth. I just say, I don't agree with the price. I don't agree with your grade. And if we can't compromise, almost immediately, I said, I'm sorry I wasted your time, and I hope you have a great day. And, you know, we can do it again in the future. And then I left. So I, I traveled about two and a half miles to do the trade. No big deal. But when you have two like-minded individuals, and one of them is their main objective is to get ahead in the game. It's really hard to reach any kind of agreement in a trade with that person. Also, if you're taking books to your LCS, um, a lot of LCSs, even though it, here in where I am, um, my LCS is really, really low on Marvel keys. Marvel keys are going crazy. And because they've gone crazy, even second appearances, first covers, those are getting crazy. So, but my LCS hasn't caught up to the times yet. So they're not paying what they should be paying. Also, they're not selling where they should be selling. Because of what the market's doing with particular books, they're not 
moving in that direction. So when you're dealing with people like that, and they're still using Overstreet, which is, they're good on some things, but on a lot of things that are like the hot books, they're, Overstreet's not even close. Um, so I think someone somewhere should come back with the Wizard Price Guide because that was more like a trending book on prices, like, and it came out every month. So, uh, I don't know. Um, I am willing to trade any book to get a book for my PC without question. Okay, but the trade amount has to be right. Because I don't want to get taken advantage of. He agreed with my grade and my price assessment on the two books. Because the two Madraculas I didn't care about. Right? But because those are two major keys, I have to get appropriate money for those, even in trade. And I normally trade a little more than the, than the last cash sale. Because cash and trade, to me, are a little bit different as far as, like, economically, the viability of the book. So, but I just want to give you guys a warning. If you're dealing with like-minded individuals who are trying to get ahead, it's going to be really hard to make a deal in a trade. But if you got two people that want, this guy wants your book and you want his book, you're probably 99% of the time you're going to be able to make that trade because you don't care about this book and you don't care about your book and boom as long as the prices are pretty close you're probably going to get that trade done no matter what so i just want to give you all that little bit of a warning little public announcement if you will but this is big john and as usual you can see i just got off of work i'm out